Surah Al-Nasr is a Medinan Surah by consensus. And it is called Al-Nasr and Ida Ja'a Nasrullah. It is, by the way, the last Surah who was revealed as a complete Surah. It is the last Surah of the Quran to be revealed com complete as a, as a whole Surah. Ubaidullah ibn Udban, this is reported by Muslim, uh, said, Ibn Abbas said to me once, do you know the last surah that was revealed as a whole from the Quran? He said, I answered, yes. Ida ja'a nasrullahi al fatih Ibn Abbas said, you've indeed said the truth. Uh, there is no reason for the revelation of the surah. Uh, None of the scholars mentioned an authentic uh, reason for the revelation of the surah. Uh, however, Ibn Abbas, now this is not a reason for revelation, but it's uh, a narration pertaining to the surah, so we mention it. And Al-Bukhari reported that uh, Ibn Abbas said, Umar radiallahu anhu, when he was the caliph, he used to bring me close to him and make me sit in his presence when the seniors of companions, like the people of Badr, used to sit with him, he would bring me in. And Ibn Abbas, as you all know, was, was young, was a, a, a young uh, boy in Islam, and when the Prophet ﷺ died, he was still young. So some of the people, some of the, the, the senior companions found a bit, uh, of discomfort uh, why would this young man be sitting in the presence of all of these seniors in Islam now seniority here is is in Islam in uh, who, who became Muslim first and who uh, did the most for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal. This is seniority. This, we're not talking about uh, anything or any other scale of measuring uh, who's a senior and who's not. Uh, so Abdul Rahman ibn Auf approached Umar radiallahu anhu and he said, uh, what makes you bring uh, this young man uh, into your presence? And he is like, the, the, and he is the age of our children. Uh, he said, you will know. So he said, so one day he called me uh, whilst they were present. And Ibn Abbas continues saying, and I don't believe he brought me in to ask me what he asked me except to show them why he brings me in. And that I have knowledge. Uh, so he said, addressing the gathering, what do you say about Ida Ja'a Nasrullahi wal Fatih? Until the end of uh, the surah. He recited the full surah. Some of them said, uh, we, were pra we were commanded by Allah Azza wa Jal to praise him, thank him, and ask forgiveness because he gave us victory and the conqueror of Mecca. Uh, some said, we don't know. What, you know, we don't know the reason. So he said, Ya Ibn Abbas, O oh, Ibn Abbas, do you say the same as they said? He said, no. He said, then what do you say about this surah? He said, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was informed of the time he will die. That when the victory and the conquer, which is the conquer of Mecca, happens, then your time has come. And it will be a sign for you to recognize the nearness of your death. So, فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَاسْتَغْفِرْهُ إِنَّهُ كَانَ تَوَّابًا So, Umar radiallahu anhu, when he heard that, he said, I don't know anything other than what this boy, young man said. Uh, Surah Al-Nasr Ida Ja'a Nasrullahi Wal-Fatih When the victory of Allah has come 
and the con uh, conquest. The, the conquest here is referring to the conquest uh, of Mecca. وَرَأَيْتَ النَّاسَ يَدْخُلُونَ فِي دِينِ اللَّهِ أَفْوَاجًا And you see the people entering into the religion of Allah in multitudes. Afwajan in multitudes after multitudes. Now, this here is referring to the Arabs. Some scholars said it's re referring particularly to the people of Yemen. But the majority of the scholars said this is referring to all Arabs in totality. Uh, because what they were saying after the uh, conquest of Mecca, they said, Allah protected the people of Mecca from the elephant and the army that came with it. So if Allah allowed Muhammad وسلم, to enter Mecca and conquer it, then you will never defeat him. Enter his faith. So they started entering in the faith of Allah Azza wa Jal, in the religion of Allah Azza wa Jal, in multitudes. فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَاسْتَغْفِرْهُ إِنَّهُ كَانَ تَوَّابًا so exalt him in praise, your Lord, and ask forgiveness of him. Indeed, he is ever accepting of repentance. This, this, this uh, ayah, this verse in the, in the surah, puts a lot of hope in the heart of the believer. Because tawab, is not just someone who accepts your uh, repentance. Tawab is uh, f from fa'al. Fa'al is uh, an intensive form of the verb. The verb is taba yatubu. Allah Azza wa Jal will forgive or accept, sorry, will accept for uh, repentance. Tawab, fa'al, Allah Azza wa Jal uh, intensely accepts regardless of how many times you sin you turn to him in repentance he will forgive uh, the narration subhanallah this reflects the the massive mercy of allah azza wa jal shaitan said to allah azza wa jal wa by your might so long as they have their souls in their bodies, I will continue to deviate them from your path. Allah Azza wa Jal responded, وَعِزَّتِي وَجَلَانِي By my might and glory, I will continue to forgive them so long as they turn to me seeking forgiveness. This is a call not to despair, not to give up hope in Allah Azza wa Jal, regardless of what you do. It will, not, it will not be anything that will be more than the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَرَحْمَتِي وَسِعَتْ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ My mercy has encompassed everything. A man was heard supplicating Allah Azza wa Jal. He said, O oh Allah, you said, وَرَحْمَتِي وَسِعَتْ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ My mercy has encompassed everything. وَأَنَا شَيْءٍ And I am a thing. So forgive me. Bestow your mercy upon me. How can anyone give up hope in Allah Azza wa Jal? and the forgiveness of Allah Azza wa Jal after hearing such a verse. Aisha radiallahu anha, and this is reported by Muslim. She said the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when it was close to the time of his death, used to abundantly uh, recite, Subhanaka wa bihamdika, 
أستغفرك وأتوب إليك uh, سبحانك means Allah عز وجل is far above any imperfection this is the, this is the meaning of سبحانك سبحان is to make Allah عز وجل above any it is called تنزيه in Arabic making Allah عز وجل above any imperfection or deficiency and all praise is for you I beg pardon of you and turn to you in repentance and in another narration he used to say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam subhanallahi wa bihamdihi astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayh it's the same exact thing but some of the pronouns are different so she said I asked him O Messenger of Allah what are these words that I see you uh, newly saying them yani it's only recently that you started but you're saying them a lot he said Allah Azza wa Jal told me that he will show me a sign And that once the sign is met, I, she, I should re recite these words uh, abundantly. And I was made to see this sign. It is the conquest of Mecca. You know, it's, uh, it's very difficult talking about the death of the Prophet ﷺ. I can't imagine how was the feeling of the companions عنهم, when they uh, actually experienced this in real life. You know, when, when someone like Umar anhu refuses to believe that the Prophet ﷺ dies. And he said, whoever says that Muhammad ﷺ is dead, I will behead him. And then when Abu Bakr anhu stood up, and he said, sit down, O Umar. And he said the famous statement, whoever was worshipping uh, Muhammad, then Muhammad has died, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And whoever is worshipping Allah, Allah Azza wa Jal is ever living, 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 never dies. And then he recited, وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ Muhammad is none but a messenger. وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ الرُّسُلٌ We sent other messengers before him. They died. أَفَإِمْ مَاتَ أَوْ قُتِلٌ So if, he's, if he was to die or to be killed, you retreat back on your heels. Whoever gives up this faith, brothers and sisters, will harm only him or herself. Allah is not harmed. Allah doesn't benefit, nor is he harmed by the belief or disbelief of the entire humanity. Allah says in the Qudsi narration that if all of you from the beginning until the end, humans and jinn were upon the most pious or act according to the most pious heart, they will not increase in my kingdom anything. He will not benefit subhanahu wa ta'ala from us. And the opposite is also true. So whoever adheres only benefits himself. And whoever acts otherwise will definitely see the consequence of that and get the recompense of that. We don't have a sign 
by Allah Azza wa Jal telling us when we will die. But we only know one fact is that death doesn't take permission and it comes suddenly without paving the way, without introductions. Suddenly, oh, he died. Oh, she died. How old? Six. How old? Fourteen. How old? Twenty. How old? Eighty. Age doesn't make any difference. Kun, be, and the person is dead. It's time. We need to act for that moment. We need to prepare for that moment. So when, when the time comes, we don't say, Rabbi Rji'oon, Oh Allah, bring me back. لَعَلِّي أَعْمَلُ صَالِحًا فِي مَا تَرَكْتِ With this we will conclude. Subhanakallah, alhamdulillah,